Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a very realistic day in my life during online school because there's so many reasons why I'm filming this vlog. First of all, we had an online school in Beijing since like um, May 3rd, which is like a month ago because of the growing cases of coronavirus, which is so sad because I love in-person school much so much better than online school. But the good thing is we're actually going back to in-person school um, next Monday, which is June 13th. Although in-person school is so much better, I still think that online school has some benefits because I can like go run anytime and like it's more flexible I guess and I can just get things whenever I need and like I have more time to do stuff like in between classes we have 20 minute breaks. Yeah, today is June 9th, 2022. It's a Thursday and what do we do on Thursdays? Gruesome Thursday. Oh no, it's so gruesome. Yeah. Breakfast and Tiffany's joke. Since Today is one of my last online classes. I thought I'm gonna vlog this and keep a record of how my life looks like during this time. I want to like look back on this video like a few months later and being like, oh my god. And also I wanna vlog just because I haven't vlogged in such a long time. The last time I vlogged was like a few centuries ago. So can't wait to pick up this vlog camera again. Yay. Also guys, I forgot to mention that we have final exams, like end of semester exams next week so basically every class now we're going to study and most periods are used for like study for that subject and after school you're going to see me study and review for the test as well so yeah okay my teacher started the meeting so i'm gonna join now guys one thing i love about teams is that you can switch backgrounds look at my kate winslet background yay because i've given you a group activity to source this, it could be very helpful for your shared screen. Okay, so we're currently doing group work. We're like testing like both biology and chemistry for our final exam, which is really stressful. Science is always the most stressful subject to study for because there's so many information. Okay guys, I'm done with my first science class and look what I saw on YouTube. Oh my god, I want to watch this video. My Annie, Annie, Annie. Also, look at my desktop, guys. I love it so much. I'm in love with Kate Winslet, okay? I'm seriously in a huge Kate Winslet and the Titanic phase right now. But now I have a 20 minute break and my next class starts at nine, which is English, English language and literature, which is my favorite class in the whole wide world. I actually need to go brush my teeth and put my bowl away because I just finished my breakfast during science. Well, I have Invisalign retainers, so it's pretty annoying. Okay, I'm all alive now. My eyebrows actually look very dark right now. I did wash my face and stuff, like all that stuff before school started, but I just did it all over again because I'm tired. Usually like online school, I will just walk to my window and stare out to the trees because it's good for my eyes. While I'm waiting for my ELL meeting to start, I thought I'd give you some context. This unit is basically about dystopian fiction, which is so much fun. Um, we read Ender's Game together as a class, and we also read some other dystopian texts, such as like There Will Come Soft Rains. And for example, one time we need to write connect like dystopian elements to like another dystopian book and film that you have read. Guess what I chose? The Matrix, ha, huh, because Trinity, you know? Today we're gonna start with a little bit of review. So we just talked about stuff about analyzing texts. Now we're going to do a Kahoot on Jilly. We, we didn't finish the Kahoot because we ran out of time and I'm currently in first place, yeah! Um, so mom gave me this interesting hairstyle. But anyways, now I have INS class which is individuals and societies we're learning about world war one <laughs> my mom looks like emma thompson <laughs> our mission to stare outside next class is media last time during media we had to write a about a film with a strong context and i wrote titanic <laughs> by the way guys <laughs> i have a beautiful clementine on there like like on the ceiling above my bed used to be her but now it's kate winslet face and since i'm on my break right now hello i decided to give you a poster tour of my bedroom this is my bedroom not my art room my art room is besides 
my bedroom. I have a big poster wall, yay, that I'm very proud of. I'm gonna add more posters as I watch more films, but these are what I have so far. First of all, great Titanic wallpaper over here. Tina Goldstein, Newt's Commander, some movies. And this is Amma. Hey, Amma. Hi. Okay, so this is our script. And some, like, some pictures, like, we can't find the right shot, so I just drew it. Thank you very much, dude. You can also send it. I'll share it with you. It's lunchtime right now. We have one hour of lunch break, and I'm going to go running. Guys, the huge reason why I like to run is because I can listen to Celine Dion music, ha huh? Done. I love this garden so much. It's so pretty in here. It's like so green. So I'm gonna walk for a bit because I finished running three laps. Yay! Me trees. This is how I look like usually after running. Not the best. <laughs> Yay, lunch! Thanks, mom. You remember what we drank that night? Oh yeah, we drank a uh, penny blue. It's one now, so I need to join my Chinese class. Yeah. I finished the um, Anne Hathaway interview with Jeremy Strong. It was so good. I love watching actors on actors interviews because I feel like like seeing actors interview another actor and like interviewing each other is more interesting than seeing like an interviewer like, interview an actor so um this is one of my favorite actors on actors interview i've seen so many i think my top one like my most favorite one is probably kate winslet and Saoirse ronan because i think their their conversations are really interesting especially what kate said when she's in the kitchen and the acting and accents and stuff but i think this was really good too and i i don't really know who jeremy strong is but um he seems like such a great actor and he used a lot of like metaphors in his talking which sounds like very you know like poetic and stuff so i think it sounds very good and annie annie is of course annie is really sweet and i think her story with like crying into a tissue and like um having like empathy towards characters i think that's just such a useful conversation but now it's class time the titanic that, that disaster and you know I'm in design class right now and we're supposed to work on our designs but it's not due until like one whole week later so I'm going to study. Math is seriously ugh. mental abuse to humans. <laughs> Sometimes geometry can be fun but like functions, algebra. Ugh. Oh look, this is the Clementine I drew. Let's explore my math notebook shall we then? Oh, what if I had never let you go? Okay, um, okay. I don't think we should explore my math notebook any further. So one thing you ought to know is that my math teacher was a attendance question every time. So today's question is, would you prefer to skydive or deep sea dive? Of course I'm gonna choose skydive because deep sea dive, it's too scary. Oh, maybe I'll see the Titanic, but that just conjures up bad memory. So I'll choose skydive. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna write skydiving with TC. I, I finished math class, which is the last class of the day, so I'm technically finished with school, but I still have to study. This is how my brain is feeling right now. This is the only equation I'm sure of right now. Guys, so I just showered. Like, my energy is just always so low after online class. So I gotta shower. Yeah. So I moved here to like outside because my art room is just too hot in the afternoon so I moved here to do more math and I also got a popsicle because this is my favorite one of my favorite flavors it's like green bean flavor I don't know it's So I've been doing math for the past like almost an hour. My brain is dead, so I hope dinner will revive me. So my mom made dinner. My mom made noodles, which are one of my favorite dishes. I'm gonna take my retainers off.
There were nights when the wind was so cold That my body froze in bed if I just listened to it right outside the window <laughs> Walk with mom <laughs> 因为及时。Guys, should I watch Divergent again? I watched it two years ago and I did really like it. But now that I know that Kate's in it, should I watch it again? Guys, do you know that I love Kate Winslet? <laughs> Mama the Tobu. Mom's running. Okay, so Turanda I'm sorry, like I mean um a sudden thing that came up. I need to draw mom because mom said I need to practice my skills because now I'm gonna because my art room, like art room when I do sketching, have been closed for like all these months and I don't have any time to practice that, even though I draw every day, but I don't practice that particular style of art. So I need to draw my mom in order to like practice for that, I guess. And do you know, uh, the only thing motivating me to do this is that my sketchbook, as you can see here, my sketchbook looks a lot, if you flip it this way, like Jax, so I can pretend that I'm Jax Dawson. Mom does not really look like Rose, but I'm gonna pretend, pretend that I'm Jack Dawson. Okay, let's do this. Mama, you ready? You have me. Do you look like Tintin like this? I still need to do Swedish today because I need to do that every day so that I can communicate fluently with Rebecca Ferguson. Mama, did I? I drew that evergreen, by the way. Mom's over there. But I don't want to film her because you might not want to be filmed. This is a masterpiece I created for my mom. This is how she really looks like in real life. It looks like a llama. <laughs> Jack Dawson is going to create a beautiful masterpiece now. This is usually a chaotic <laughs> process. Bingo! Do you know how an artist torture her, his or her models? They torture their models because they can, because the model, like, if they're doing a really, really intense drama, <laughs> if they're doing a very intense drawing for their models, um, they're gonna require the model to not move, right? Mom doesn't even listen to me. This is how our relationship is like in real life. Mom's facial expression is like this right now because she's trying not to laugh. Oh, anyways, I still didn't like convey my point yet. <laughs> So this is how people can torture models to so make them stay still even though he already finished. Can we say die? Physics, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our whole class is suffering from chemistry at the moment. Everyone wants to kill chemistry. You got you to be able to get it. You got to be able to get it. You got to be to be I'm currently reading Project Hail Mary by Andy Ware, Ware, Ware. Open the sun to warm your heart, swear it will never. That's the color of my love. You know, mom always, mom always think that I'm very shy. But actually, I know so many stuff that she doesn't. <laughs> For example, um, do you know what's the first on-screen material Annie Hathaway has been in? <laughs> nah, see, she doesn't know. I'm gonna tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a glimpse first before I give it give mom. Uh, like a llama, basically. Big, big llama. Okay, yeah, mom, mom approves. Yeah. Ma Mademoiselle, um, a big artiste is finished for her day. Ha! Huh. This is a weird angle, but it's currently 7.30 and I'm going to practice cello now. There were things we never do again, but then they always seem right. Cello, but I have one more thing that I need to play That's the most crucial thing I need to play every day You will know what I'm playing after you hear it and you'll not be surprised
that that's the opening theme of Titanic. Surprisingly, I like to play the opening theme of Titanic, like th this melody, better than the actual song, which is like really because I think this melody, like it's so has like kind of a hopeful feeling, but also has this very very melancholic feeling. Also, this one, the opening scene where everyone's going on the boat. <laughs> Theme. Melodies are like all the same, but like the the key like signatures they're in are all like different. We should plug this. So that's it. Okay, I finished practicing cello. Let's go study. I'm going to study for science chemistry now because chemistry is so hard. I did two pages of notes. The last thing I'm going to do today is to... Oh my god, I look crazy. The last thing I'm going to do today is to draw my story, my new story. I'm not going to tell you what's what it's about yet because it's a secret. And also, I have a lot of story videos to film because... This year, I drew like two other stories that I didn't film yet. Gotta do it during summer, and yeah. Me and Jane Austen. Alrighty guys, it's currently like 11 o'clock, which is bad because it's late and I shouldn't be sleeping very late, but today I just had a lot of things to do. So I'm getting ready to sleep. As you can see, my foxes are um, already asleep. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, today was a pretty good day and I just wanna see, let you see how my usual online school day looks like and i hope we can get back to school soon subscribe so you can get more content about me and my character art and me venting about kate kate winslet and good night <laughs>